Welcome to Physics Cartoon Camera. As continuous learning of class 12 standard, in this video we are learning about Gauss theorem. Gauss theorem states that the total flux through a surface is 1 by epsilon naught times the net charge enclosed by the closed surface. Now there is S a spherical Gaussian surface. In that ds is a component. There is a charged particle at the center of this spherical Gaussian, if you assume that, then electric field E will be towards perpendicular to the surface. At the same time, at the DS surface also over here. Now, suppose, suppose the surface S is a sphere let's say is a sphere of radius let's say the sphere radius r okay and centered centered on q now as you know that electric field e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by r square now this field points radially outwards at all the points of S. Also, the area element points radially towards, which means theta is equal to 90 degrees. Now we need to calculate flux. Therefore, flux through surface area, flux through surface area, ds is d phi e is equal to e dot ds so e dot ds nothing but e ds cos cos 0 over here cos 0 value will be 1 so which comes as e ds okay now total flux total flux through surface through surface as so phi e is equal to integral closed integral of surface integral of d phi e so d phi e matlab closed integral e dot ds so e integral s into ds which means e into total surface area total surface area so what is e value as you know that e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square we can substitute 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by r square what is total surface area of this sphere that is 4 pi r square so 4 pi r square here 4 pi r square will be cancelled so finally q by epsilon naught therefore phi is equal to q by epsilon naught this tells us gas theorem so phi e is equal to integral closest surface integral e dot ds is equal to q by epsilon naught yes coulomb's law from gas theorem Next one is Coulomb's law from Gauss theorem. Just we studied about Gauss theorem. From the Gauss theorem, can we explain Coulomb's law? Can we derive Coulomb's law? This we can study now. So, an isolated positive charge Q. So we select the sphere of surface S in that DS is the part over here. Let's say R is the radius of center O. So electric field E over here, over here at the place of DS, spherical Gaussian surface. Now, as you know that D phi E d phi e is equal to e dot ds 
a dot ds which means a ds cos 0 is equal to a ds finally netflix netflix phi e is equal to closed integral a dot ds is equal to a dot ds that is equal to a into closed surface ds that is equal to e into total surface area that is equal to e into 4 pi r square while using gas theorem as you know that phi e is equal to q by epsilon naught now as you know phi e we derived as e into 4 pi r square so here also this is phi e and q by epsilon naught so we can make it equal so e into 4 pi r square is equal to q by epsilon naught from that e is equal to 1 by 4 pi r square into q by epsilon naught what about the force on a unit charge force on the point charge force on the point charge f is equal to q naught into e so q naught into e value how much 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by epsilon naught so we can rewrite 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q q naught by oh uh, sorry here 1 by 4 pi r square it is yeah 1 by 4 pi r square into q q naught epsilon naught so 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q q naught by r square is this not a coulomb's law so we have derived coulomb's law from gas theorem hope you understood this concept please comment it if any doubts are related numericals thank you so much